I don't really see this happening too much anymore on YouTube, so that's where I come in. This time last year, I had just moved to California. Matter of fact, this time last year, I had just moved to California and I wasn't sure where I was gonna sleep at the next day. I was sleeping in a car, I was sleeping in different hotels every night. And after a few weeks of that, I was actually very fortunate to find my own place. I moved in, everything was fine after that. And I lived in California close to nine months. And within that nine months, a lot happened. I was working my ass off to make ends meet, trying to balance out my YouTube as well and upload consistently, going through quitting my job and pursuing my YouTube thing full time and also picking up side work such as Uber and Lyft. A lot transpired. And in the midst of life just going on, I was going through a lot of stress. I was battling depression, going through some anxiety. I put on a lot of weight. In fact, I gained close to 60 pounds in nine months, which uh, isn't too good. I remember getting out of the shower one day and looking at myself in the mirror like, what happened? Like, what did I do? Why? And I was actually already living there for about seven months before I looked into the mirror and actually noticed that, like, what? And that right there just added to my stress. It added to me just not feeling myself anymore. And so a couple months later, I made the unselfish decision to come back home, regroup mentally before I just, I lost my mind and lost myself completely and probably did something I wouldn't have liked or did something I would have regretted or something along those lines. And when I made the decision to come back home, I didn't really want to make that decision if that makes any sense. You know, I didn't want to leave my friends. I didn't want to leave behind the opportunity. I didn't want to leave California, you know, the beautiful weather and just the place I always wanted to live in. I didn't, I didn't want to leave. And that decision I had made was another chance and risk I had taken. I was like, my YouTube's gonna fall apart now. No one's gonna watch me anymore. I'm not gonna have any cool videos or collabs for him anymore. Like, what's gonna happen? But coming back home, in fact, ended up being one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. I came back home, I got my head screwed on straight, and my channel blew up with more subscribers than I would've even imagined. And I also got back into the gym. And since I brought up the gym, I actually lost 20 pounds in a little over three weeks. And I'll also be making a video in the near future talking about how I lost that much weight in that short amount of time. And with this rapid weight loss came a pretty big insecurity for me. I got stretch marks pretty much everywhere. I got stretch marks on both of my arms. I got them underneath my armpit. I got them on my sides. I got them on my stomach. I got them on my hamstrings. I got them on my back. Um, I got them I, I, on my knees. That's just from growing tall. I had them since I was a kid. Um, I, I got stretch marks. I'm a walking stretch mark right now. And the stretch marks are not gonna be stopping anytime soon because I am in no way, shape or form done with my body transformation. I'm trying to drop another 50 pounds. It and build muscle. Now I am treating my stretch marks, you know, applying coconut oil and applying bio oil and cocoa butter and things like that. And like I said, these stretch marks became a pretty big insecurity of mine. But I began to think and a message hit me and I wanted to share this message with you guys. Like I began to forget I was busting my ass to lose this weight in the gym and I was focused on these little blemishes. I was forgetting about how great I felt and how much I'm myself again and I was focused on these little blemishes. It was like I'm doing all this good and I'm getting a shitty result. It's like taking one step forward and two steps back. But that's actually not the case at all. Like it's so easy to focus on what's not right with you. It's so easy to build mountains out of anthills. It's so easy to discredit yourself and to discourage yourself. Okay, wait, pause. I'm turning my car on and turn this AC on because I'm getting sweaty and I'm getting glazy and I'm hot and I'm getting annoyed. Okay, continue. For an example, when I got my stretch marks, I was like, I'm hideous. I don't even wanna look at myself in the mirror. I feel fat, I feel ugly. But in reality, I got these stretch marks because I'm doing all the right things. I'm losing weight. You know, I'm back in the gym. I'm feeling like myself again. I'm taking accountability for my actions and changing my life, you know, for the better. I feel like my car may be too loud and the audio might sound terrible. So I'm just gonna have to be hot. Great. But sometimes it's so, so, so important to take a step back, reflect on your own life, and don't dwell on the negative. I know it's easier said than done. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. You're doing a great job at school and you're getting good grades, but yet you may be focusing on what somebody's saying about you. Or you're doing great in your workplace, yet you're focusing on how somebody else is doing their job or they may be doing it better than you, so on and so forth. Never mind. I got to turn this AC on. I can't. I'm filming inside from now on. I don't know anymore. You guys can take away from this video whatever you want to take away. I'm just getting hot and I just, this video is going nowhere at this point. So yeah. I promise you I have good intentions. I'm just really hot right now. I haven't eaten in 26 hours. I'm starving and I want to eat. So what I want you guys to do is leave me a comment down in the comment box below telling me one of your insecurities because I told you one of mine. I'm trying to film right now, but do your thing, save someone's life. But I wanna give you guys some homework, so leave me a comment down below telling me one of your insecurities and how you're gonna do your best to overcome that insecurity and not focus on it. All right, I sound like a teacher. Just leave me a comment, insecurity, so I can roast you. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. I might think about it, but I'm not gonna do that because you guys are roasting me, so it just, 
we will see. That's all I have for you guys this week. So until next week, remember, I'm only here to save your Mondays and your Thursdays. I'm not dancing either. I'm not dancing. It's a little too hot. Uh, nah. I'm going home. Oh, shit.